Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, full disclosure here, I'm an atheist. So, I don't believe in God in any form. But you know, in ancient times, they believed in, in lots of different gods and goddesses, like in, in Rome, in Greece, and of course the, the Nordic myths. There's lots of gods and goddesses. And even though there's a sort of creation myth, but it's not very specific. And it leaves open whether, how everything got here. They did not even attempt to answer every question about those, about that. There was no one God who did it all. And most importantly, the gods were not perfect. They were in fact anything but. They were vain and petty, impulsive, childish, and very horny. Which made for very colorful stories. Those gods were a lot of fun, and their stories are very, uh, very interesting. And then along came the Judeo-Christian concept of the one true God, which if you really think about it is just as ridiculous as those old myths of the many gods. And this one true God was as vain and petty, impulsive and childish as the gods of ancient mythology. All of, the, all of the biblical stories bear that out. But despite this, but despite this God's obvious flaws, part of the doctrine about this one true God is that he is perfect. And if you believe the Bible, the book that's written about him, this can't possibly be true. Take the story of Noah's Ark. God decides that creating us, human beings, was a big mistake. And he decides to wipe us all out. But then somehow he changes his mind and decides to spare a few people. One guy originally, you know, but then, you know, his family and all, the, all that. So this all-powerful, all-loving, perfect and loving God commits a huge act of genocide and mass murder. And we start all over again, except we don't. Because we're still not forgiven for Adam and Eve's original sin, which... Nobody who was alive at that time or any time had anything to do with. But in order to be forgiven for this sin, we had to commit an act of unspeakable barbarism, torturing and murdering God's son. And now God likes us better. So maybe we need to go back to the basic concept of the myths of Greece, Rome, and other places, that God's not perfect. Maybe that makes more sense. I mean, look at his creations. They have some pretty shoddy merchandise, starting with us human beings, and then permeating all of creation. Everything from birth defects to disease, mass murder, all of these things seem to indicate that God is not that perfect thing that, that we like to believe. And we also have people whose gender in their mind does not match the genitals that they were born with. But because we believe that God can't make a mistake, we think that there's something wrong with them. When in, in actuality, it's just another example of God fucking up. Thanks for listening. Hey, thanks for watching my videos. 
And I want you to keep on doing that. Just not on YouTube. If you look down in the description box, you're going to see two new links there. One is to my Patreon page. The other one is to a site called Top Buzz. Now on Top Buzz, they're letting me monetize my video and they're not even ads on them. So I'd like you to get in the habit of watching my videos there. Or you can go to my Patreon page and if you want to become a supporter, that would be great. If you don't, you can still watch my videos there. But for me, YouTube is no longer worth bothering with. It's just a launching pad that I use to put my videos at other places on the net. So I do want you to keep on watching my videos, but not on YouTube.